Hey guys, welcome back to another Daily Devo, where you are walking with me through my daily walk in Christ. And I want to start out just by saying, if you are clicking in because a thumbnail got you here, I want to let you know this is not a channel where I'm just kind of reviewing TV shows and stuff like that. No, my hope with this channel is to help you in your walk with Christ. And today, if you saw the thumbnail and you saw the title, you could probably tell that this was going to be a little bit about this new Netflix series that's been going around called 13 Reasons Why. If you are totally unfamiliar with it, I'm going to try and give you at least a snippet of an idea of what's going on. Don't worry, no spoilers. If you haven't watched the show, literally everything I'm about to tell you, probably the Netflix summary kind of sums it up more. But there was something I feel like I just needed to share with you about it. So if you were completely just oblivious to this whole idea of this 13 Reasons Why, which I would be surprised to, but I don't want to just assume that you know what I'm talking about. Here is the idea behind this. In this show, there are there's these two characters. Um, one name's Hannah and one name is Clay. Now you find out very quickly, Hannah has committed suicide. And the show is about Clay's journey through this whole process because what Hannah did, she wrote or she recorded, I guess you should say, these 13 audio tapes of these 13 different reasons, these 13 different people inside of her life that caused her that led her to commit suicide. And like I said, this is just Clay's journey through these audio tapes and his struggle through it. And that's really what the show is all about. I won't tell you too much more, so if you wanna watch the show, there you go. Well, my wife and I were just kind of walking through this show, seeing everything that's unfolding, and at the end of it, I really felt like there was something that was completely left out inside this story. So in the side to this whole thing that was never shared, and it's really this 14th reason why. And that's really what I want to share with you today. See, in Galatians chapter 5, there is a passage here that I'm about to read. It's right at the end of verse 21. Let me read this. It says that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. See, right before this, like the couple verses before and even the very first part of this verse 21, we see the writer here of Galatians just unfolding this list of different things, whether it be envy, anger, jealousy, drunkenness, immorality, idolatry, just this huge list of things that are just, that are wrong, that are sinful, and it's just these whole lists. Go check it out. Like I said, it's these verses right before Galatians 5.21. And this whole list is just being unfolded. And then right after that, we read the verse that I just shared with you. This Galatians 5.21, and it says, And those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so there's two things here that you need to understand about when it says that. One, yes, if you choose sin for your life rather than choosing God, it's saying that if if you choose sin, if you allow sin to be the thing that's in your life and that, that you are resting your life in rather than resting your life in God, if you never choose God, then yes, you will not inherit the kingdom of God, the, like the eternal life once you die. But it's even deeper than that. It's saying for those of you who are Christians, it's saying that you will not inherit the kingdom of God even before you die because the kingdom of God is bigger than just your eternal life once you die. It is the life that God wants to give you right now, the, the blessings that God can pour into you right now, the peace, the joy, the confidence, the worth, the purpose. And what it's saying is if you choose to go after these things, you're going to be missing out on what God wants to fill you up with. And here's the thing, just, just walk with me through this. Let's say this, you are not having the things that God is filling you up with. Like God wants to fill you up with love and peace and worth and all these other things. So what's the opposite of that? What's the opposite of love? This feeling of hate, what's the, op what's the opposite of feeling this togetherness with God and with people, this isolation? What's the opposite of joy? What is the opposite of peace? Can you, can you imagine just the isolation that comes from that? If you take the opposite of what God gives, it's this depression, it's this feeling of worthlessness, it's this feeling of love, unloveness, of just, of complete nothingness. This is that dark spot that we're talking about. And in the show, this is kind of the same dark spot that we see Hannah at. The Hannah that caused her to commit this suicide that we see unfolding inside the show. And so I really want to throw out this question to you. Who is it 
that wants to bring you to this low spot. That's our enemy, Satan. And you now have your 14th reason why. See, something that was never talked about inside this show, that was never even discussed at all, was the spiritual side to things. We see all these reasons and these different people why, but there was a 14th reason that was never talked about, and that's our enemy, Satan. See, what he wants to do is he wants to attract you with all these sort of things that we see unfolding inside the show and kind of unfolding right here in Scripture. But he misses, he leaves out a very important part when he tries to attract you with it. He's saying that when you go after these things, you are missing out on what God is wanting to give you. That peace, joy, love, confidence, stuff that we just talked about. And see, when you don't have that filling of what God is trying to give you, that's when you run into this very low, dark, empty spot. And when our enemy can get you to that very low, dark, empty spot, he can lead you to do some things that you never would have thought that you would have ever done. And so today, I want to speak into you here. I want to share with you, if you are listening to our enemy, he is trying to deceive you, he is trying to hurt you, and he is trying to lead you away from what God is wanting to give you. Because our God is all about giving you peace and joy and love and confidence and worth. And our enemy wants to do his best to strip all that away from you. Now, it doesn't seem like at first that that's what he's wanting to do. He's very good at hiding what he's trying to do. But I guarantee you, that's exactly what he wants to do. And that's why our enemy can claim this 13th reason why. So I want to just share with you here. If you are struggling like Hannah is, like Hannah was inside this show, Make sure that you know who really loves you and wants the best for you. Because the enemy does not. He's going to do his best to make you believe it and convince you that he wants the best for you. And that everything that God gives is worthless. But no, what God can give you, he is the one that can actually change your story. And bring you the worth that you're looking for. Bring you the peace that you're looking for. Bring you the love that you're looking for. And so today, after seeing this show and seeing everything unfolding and seeing how this show never opened up at all, the real 14th reason why, I wanted to share it with you today. I want you to know this. You have an enemy, and this enemy is going to try and do his best to deceive you as much as he can because he knows if you go after what he's enticing you with, you're missing out on what God's trying to give you. Don't miss out on what God's trying to give you. What God wants to give you is the fill that you are looking for. Well, today I want to thank you so much for watching this here. Thank you for just walking with me through today's message. I'm going to go ahead and pray for you, and then we'll get out of here. Father, thank you so much for today, and thank you for this chance to be able to share with my family this 14th reason why. Lord, I absolutely love you, and I thank you in name I pray. Amen. Well, hey guys, as always, I want you to know Jesus loves you, and thanks for watching. See ya.